What did he do in those ten days and nights in the masjid in which he made atikaf? This is what we have to understand. Because many a times this night we say, that there are so many things to be discussed, what is happening around the globe. Indeed, lots of things are happening and we have to discuss those issues. There are many things happening in Palestine, in Chechnya, in Somalia, in Sudan. There are many things happening in Iraq, in Afghanistan. But this is not the night for all those discussions. Lots of other things can be discussed also. But this is a night in which now we take some stock of our lives. We x-ray our hearts. We see that what has come into us. We have been talking so much about what's happening around the world. But what's happening in this small world of ours? So this is the night for reflection. It is a night in which we meditate. Indeed there are lots of things happening as I have said. And there is nothing wrong in discussing those issues, but there are other talks, other programs, other majalis in which those issues are discussed. That what is happening in the bush, how many new animals have been born and how much of lions and tigers and cheetahs are now roaming in that bush and how much of biting and stinging and murdering and looting and killing they are doing. So there is a place for that too. But tonight, as I said, it is a night of reflection, a night of istighfar, a night of dua. In the majlis before Maghrib, just before iftar today, which some of you may have heard and many of you may not have heard, it just came to mind that this poetry of dua, it is dua in reality, which I always read in the majlis of zikr. That is exactly what we should be doing tonight. Asking Allah wa ta'ala to bring about a total change in our hearts, 